Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on changing the subject. In this video, we're going to look at two examples which may be similar to the questions you might encounter in the Level 2 Fever Maths exam. Before you watch this video, I recommend you watch the Corporate Maths videos on changing the subject and changing the subject to advance on our main GCSE page. Okay, so here's our first question. It says, make x a subject of w equals 9x cubed subtract 4 over 5x cubed plus c. Okay, so we want to make x a subject, so what we're going to want to do is we want to bring all the x's to one side and everything else to the other. So we've got this 5x cubed plus c on the denominator. First of all, let's bring that up, okay, so we're going to multiply both sides by 5x cubed plus c. And that would give us w bracket 5x cubed plus c, close brackets, equals, and we multiply the right hand side to get rid of the divide by 5x cubed plus c. So it'll just leave us with 9x cubed subtract 4. Okay, now we want to get the x's over to one side, so we're going to need to expand this bracket. So that will give us uh, w, x, y, z, so just check my off of here. So 5wx cubed plus c, w, just multiplying both of those terms by w, and that equals 9x cubed subtract 4. Now again, we want to bring the x's to one side and everything else to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 9x cubed from both sides. So that will give us 5wx cubed plus c, w, subtract 9x cubed equals negative 4. So we're now going to subtract cw from both sides. So that will leave us with 5wx cubed subtract 9x cubed equals negative 4 subtract cw. Now we want the x's on their own, so let's factorize it. Let's take the x cubed out. So that will give us x cubed brackets 5w subtract 9 close brackets equals negative 4 subtract cw and now we want the x's on their own so we're going to divide both sides by 5w subtract 9 and that will give us x cubed equals negative 4 subtract cw over 5w subtract 9 and lastly we don't want x cubed we just want x so we're going to cube root both sides and that will leave us with x is equal to the cube root of negative 4 subtract cw over 5w subtract 9. Now whenever you're doing these questions you might get the answer in a slightly different format. So for instance whenever I whenever I got to this stage I subtracted 9x cubed from both sides. I could have instead have subtracted 5wx cubed from both sides and brought the x's over to the right hand side rather than to the left hand side and what I would have underneath the cube root sign would look slightly different but this is correct. Okay let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says make c the subject of 8 over x plus y over 3 subtract 2 over c equals zero. So we want to make c the subject, so we want c equals. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we have got our three fractions. Let's give them all a common denominator. So if we multiply both the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 3 and c, so multiply both of these by 3c, we would get 3 times 3c times 8 would be 24c over, and then with the common denominator, let's just put it in alphabetical order, but if we multiply this by 3c, it would be 3cx. The next fraction, well, we have y over 3, so we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by an x and a c to give it the common denominator. So that will be, in alphabetical order, cxy over 3cx. And then finally, we've got our subtract 2 over c. So we've got a denominator here of c. We're going to multiply it by 3x, and that will give us a common denominator. So that will give us, if we multiply the numerator by 3x, that'll be 6x. And the denominator by 3x, that'll be 3cx. And that equals 0. So now what we're going to do now, now that we've got the common denominator, we're going to write it as a, or express it as a single fraction. So we're going to write 24c plus cxy subtract all over 3cx, that equals 0. Now what's interesting is this question said equals 0, it could have equaled a number like a 1 or 2 or so on, but we've got equals 0. Now if, we, if we've got that it equals 0, we know that the numerator must equal 0, the reason being that 0 divided by anything is 0, um, so that's going to be the, the, the numerator is going to be equal to 0, so we're going to write 24c. Um, we could have multiplied both sides by 3cx, and then obviously 0 multiplied by 3cx would then be 0. So 24 
c plus c x y subtract six will equal six x equals zero. Now we want to make c the subject, so we're going to bring everything to the other side that doesn't have a c in it. So that will be adding six x to both sides. Will leave us with twenty four c plus c x y equals six x. Now we want the c on its own, so let's factorize this left hand side. So c bracket twenty four plus x y equals six x. And finally, we want the C on its own, so we're going to divide both sides by 24 plus XY, and that will leave us with C equals 6X over 24 plus XY. And that's it.